This is an introduction to the basics of learning to tell the time. The numbers that you see on the clock face are showing you the hours. The hour hand, which is the shorter hand on the clock, shown here in red, will be pointing at or near to the number that shows you the hour. The minute hand is the longer hand and here it's shown in blue. This one can be a little more complicated because it doesn't point to the number that it's telling you anything about. It takes the minute hand 60 minutes to get all the way round the clock and each number it looks as if it's pointing at isn't really telling us anything because these numbers in the clock are for the hour hand and not the minute hand. When the minute hand gets all the way round, it's a whole hour. And you'll notice that that hour hand has gone from the four to the five. There will be more videos showing you what those minutes are as the minute hand goes round the clock. But for the purposes of this one, we're just going to look at four particular times. Even though the minute hand is pointing at the twelve, it's not telling us that it's 12 anything. If the minute hand is pointing straight up, it's telling us that it's something o'clock. O'clock is just an old fashioned way of saying of the clock or on the hour. So it's telling us that it's something o'clock, it's a full hour. The hour hand is pointing directly at the four. This clock is showing us four o'clock. With this clock, the minute hand has gone to the bottom. It looks as if it's pointing at the six, but it's not telling us that it's six anything. You can see that it's gone halfway around the clock. The whole clock is an hour, so halfway round the clock is half an hour. Half an hour past something is half past something and everything on this side of the clock is showing you how many minutes past the hour it is. So this is showing us half past what? Half an hour past which hour? If you look at the hour hand that's halfway between the four and the five. So we're looking at the number that it's gone past. What was the last full hour? The last o'clock and that was four. It's half an hour past four o'clock. We call that half past four. When the minute hand is pointing at the three you can see that it's travelled a quarter of the way around the clock. Again it's on the right side of the clock the minutes past the hour or past o'clock. So this is telling us that it's a quarter past something have a look at the hour hand. What has it gone past? Well, the hour hand has gone past the four. It's a quarter of an hour past four o'clock. We call that quarter past four. This one's a little more difficult because it's on the other side of the clock. This side of the clock is showing you the minutes to the next hour or to the next something o'clock. You can see that there's a quarter of the way round the clock for the minute hand to go until it reaches the full hour at the top. It has a quarter of an hour to get to the next full hour. So it's a quarter to something. This time when we look at the hour hand, we're looking at which hour it's going to, not the one it's just gone past. The hour hand is going to the five. It's not quite there yet but when that minute hand gets to the top it will be five o'clock and that hour hand will point at the five. So the time now is a quarter of an hour to five o'clock and we call that quarter to five. Here are some for you to have a go at. The first few I've indicated the o'clock quarter past half past and quarter to. What time does this clock say? Pause the video and have a go. The minute hand is pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock. 
the hour hand is pointing directly at the five, so it's five o'clock. Pause the video if you need time to work out this way. The minute hand is pointing down. It's gone half an hour past the o'clock, so it's going to be half past something. Where has the hour hand gone past? Well, it's gone past the seven and it's coming up to the eight. As it's gone past the seven, it's half past seven. Pause the video if you need time to work this out. The minute hand is pointing a quarter of the way round the clock past the twelve on this side of the clock. So it's showing that it's quarter past something. And the hour hand looks as if it's just gone past the ten. So it's quarter past ten. This time I've taken away the little guides. Pause the video if you need time to, to work this one out. The minute hand is pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock. The hour hand is pointing directly at the two, so it's two o'clock. Pause the video if you need time to work this out. The minute hand is pointing straight down. So it's half an hour past something, half past. The hour hand is halfway between one and two. So it's gone past the one. The time is half past one. Pause the video again if you need time to work this out. The minute hand has gone a quarter of an hour past the twelve, past the full hour. And it's on this side of the clock, the right side of the clock, so it's a quarter past something. The hour hand has gone slightly past the twelve, so it's a quarter past twelve. Now just to look at some of the quarter twos, because they're a little more difficult. Here, the minute hand is pointing to show that there's a quarter of an hour before it gets to the full hour. So it's a quarter to, this time look at where the hour hand is going to. It's left the 12 and it's coming up to the 1. So the time here is a quarter to 1. And here's one without the guide. Pause the video if you need time to work it out. Again, the minute hand is showing that there's a quarter of an hour until it gets to the top to the full hour, the next o'clock. So it's a quarter to something. The hour hand is going towards the eight. So it's a quarter to eight.